thank you. This is Alcasan's Professional Services Committee meeting. Today is February the 16th, 2023. We'll begin with the roll call. Ms. Prater. Representative Emily Kincaid. Here. Dr. Shanna Tharp Gilliam. Present. Ms. Sylvia Wilson. Here. Sorry, people should put stuff in chat while we're having a meeting. <laughs> All right, the first item on the agenda is um, an informational item. It's a request for qualifications for an Alcasan retained engineer. Ms. Williams. Madam Chair, the, the authority is required to have a retained consultant, um, I believe 20, yeah, 2019 was the last time we solicited um, for calls and proposals. It's about that time again. And a retained engineer performs a myriad of services across the authority. It is uh, probably more than the average person would anticipate. But because it is the retained engineer, I'm going to ask the director of engineering and construction just to give you a little overview. Thank you, Arletta. So <clears throat> we've always had a retained engineer. Um, they, they do a set of very standard tasks each year, which is to help with the capital budget and the annual report that are some requirements of our trust indenture. But then that we also use them for emergencies um, and smaller, uh, smaller fee uh, projects and emergencies, usually under you know a half million dollars, when we really have to get on it right away. So it's nice to have um, an extension of some engineering support when we need to address something right away. Um, and then there's just some miscellaneous reports that that need to be done on a periodic basis. That it's uh, we sometimes reach out to the engineer for as well. So that would be like the base. And then as things come up, we would come to the board if it were something more meaningful and we would ask for a service authorization for that, for a specific task. Um, and we have done that, that in the past with our existing retained. And so things do come up like the um, biosolids trends analysis or some help with some Army Corps of Engineers uh, coordination that was beyond our you know, you know, capabilities with our in-house staff. So we, um, we're gonna go out for a request for qualifications. We expect to put that out in March. And uh, the schedule is that we would like to be in a position for a July recommendation for award. Okay, thank you. Going out in March, July, start. <laughs> Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Uh, we're going to move on now to the action items. Our first is a motion to recommend the awarding of engineering services for the Spring Garden Grit Management Project to Wade Trim and to authorize executive director to negotiate a fee. Ms. Williams. Madam Chair, as the board is aware, there are locations where grit being deposited into the interceptor system is Highly problematic. Spring Garden is one of those circumstances. We didn't get as much initial participation uh, in terms of the initial response from the consulting community as I would like. We only had three consultants submit. However, we do have a recommended selection from those three. And I would ask the director of regional conveyance, Mike, if you would talk about the project just a bit. Thank you, Arletta, Madam Chair. Yeah, this, this award is for final design services uh, for spring garden grit management. As Arletta said, we have problems with grit throughout our system. It delivers um, several thousand tons a, a year of uh, uh, 
tonnage to our grit to our existing uh, interceptor system. So we want to uh, be as proactive as we can to keep that grit out of our system. Um, we have received approximately three and a half million dollars of, of federal funding on this project from the from the Corps of Engineers to construct uh, construct this chamber. Uh, we sent out a request for proposals in uh, December to to three firms. All three submissions were reviewed and scored internally by staff. Uh, they were scored according to the following criteria: approach, qualifications, experience, project management hourly loading and MBE, WB, SDV participation. Uh, based on the scoring, uh, it was pretty unanimous. The firm of Wade Trim uh, ranked highest. Um, they had the most detailed proposal as well as the most experience uh, designing grit chambers. Uh, they formally designed Tassie Hollow for us, which is uh, operating successful to this day. Uh, therefore, we would like to recommend award uh, to weigh trim and uh, the ability to negotiate a fee. Okay, thank you. Any questions or comments? If not, could I have a motion and a second to approve? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, motion is recommended. Um, item uh, B, the next item is uh, to, uh, the motion to recommend modification of the service authorization. 264 for nine rooftops to, con to continue to support both strategic communications and public relations for an amount not to exceed $1,267,038. Ms. Williams. Madam Chair, nine rooftops, formerly Mark USA, has been providing this support service for a number of years and has certainly helped us to pull back the veil to create a more open and transparent authority where people can not only understand the service we provide, but how we provide it. I would ask the Director of Communications to speak to what not rooftops will be supporting us in over this year. Joey? Thank you, Arletta. Um, as Arletta said, they've been a great partner for us. They've uh, really gotten us uh, kind of on a good path. Um, we brought a lot of things in house um, with their help, but there are still things that we don't have the capabilities of doing. Uh, namely, a lot of the digital advertising that you see, um, they create and buy that for us. Um, they recommend where we should put that based on the numbers of clicks that we get. Um, those types of things. They're also a big, big help for the sweepstakes every year, um, as well as open house. Um, so we uh, look forward to having them on board with us again this year. Yeah, I noticed, I noticed on this paperwork you sent, follow the flush promotion. Yes. And that's, that's one where we can see where we are and how long it takes to get to the plant. That is correct. And, and, that, the, path, and the path to which it takes. And, and that is a very popular tool. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is. Well, I think I mentioned it because, you know, <laughs> it's, one, it's one of those nice things that we get a chance to see. That's All right. right. Um, any questions or comments? If not, a motion in the second to approve, please. Motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Thank you so much. All right. And our last action item is a motion to recommend the modification of service authorization 318 for Three Rivers wet weather in the amount of $3,443,853 to provide ongoing municipal stakeholder support through December 31st, 2024. Ms. Williams. Madam Chair, our partnership with Three Rivers goes back to 1997, the initiation, 1998, where Raleigh really got off the ground. And it is, uh, it's an excellent mechanism for us to support our municipal customers above and beyond the service we provide every day to those 83 customers. Um, you'll see this authorization 
takes us through, not just this year, but the end of next year. And I believe it's April. You will be due for an annual report from the executive director from Three Rivers, that's Dave Mons. So he will be joining us. Okay, hey, thank you. Any questions or comments? All right, we'll be looking forward to that report in April. It'll be very exciting, I'm sure. <laughs> Maybe not as exciting as, you know, my biosolids committee, but you know. <laughs> no All right, I'm not here with any other comments or questions other than myself. Um, could I have a motion and a second to approve, please? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay, thank you. These three action items, of course, will be brought up and being recommended to the full body um, when we have our board meeting. Um, I see there is no new business, correct? That is correct. All right, well, then I want to thank everybody for participating in today's meeting. We will adjourn. Our next committee meeting will be March the 9th. All right, everybody, have a great rest of the day and be safe.